Oh, we've lost another rock and roll legend. Fats Domino died of natural causes yesterday in his beloved hometown of New Orleans. He was 89. Now, Domino was one of the originals of rock and roll, and he turned it into a career that spans seven decades. <laughs> Ain't That a Shame was anything but. He catapulted the soft-spoken New Orleans native into rock and roll superstardom when it hit top 10 in 1955. I just made it big because I guess the people liked my record. And regardless of how big I, people say I am, I feel much bigger when I'm in New Orleans. There will be more. Many more hits. Domino was the best-selling African-American singer in the 1950s and early 60s. More than 65 million albums and dozens of top 40 singles, including... Elvis called him the real king of rock and roll. The Beatles considered him one of their influences. And while the hits eventually dried up, Domino remained beloved by fans and critics alike. Ladies and gentlemen, Antoine. Fats Domino. He would be honored with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and was one of the first inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. October 24, 1991, was proclaimed Fats Domino Day in his native city. Domino and his wife of 61 years, Rosemary, had eight children, all while spending their life in the Big Easy. They never left. He made headlines in the days following Hurricane Katrina in 2005, many fearing he may have drowned in his beloved Ninth Ward, the hard-hit area. But he and his family were rescued. His home and the treasured music memorabilia it contained, though, were hit hard by the 15-foot floodwaters. I would like to keep the house. The awards could be replaced, but replacing Fats Domino may prove impossible. In all my life, I tried my best to make people happy with my music. And tonight, I want you all to know, you all made me very, very happy. Thank you. God bless you.